Is the Plaza Restaurant the best restaurant in all of Disney's Magic Kingdom? Let's eat. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sarah. And you're watching The Theme Park Foodies. We are back for part three of our five part series where we dine at our top five Magic Kingdom table service restaurants to see which we think is the best. Uh, coincidentally, these are probably the only five table service restaurants in Magic Kingdom <laughs> that aren't character dining. They're not including character dining, such as Crystal Palace or Cinderella's Royal Table because we feel like the characters are more of the star of the show here. We're trying to see where the best food can be found in the most visited theme park in the world. And this one is all about the Plaza Restaurant located right on Main Street USA at Disney's Magic Kingdom Park. This is probably the restaurant I think we've had the most videos on Sam, right? Yeah, it is a more casual spot. I think it's one of the more cost effective effective yeah. options on the list. It's got a beautiful location, like Jay said, on Main Street. There are views of Cinderella's Castle. It's very casual. It's kind of like diner food. Yeah. Burgers, salads, ice cream, milkshakes. Usually pretty easy to get into. We've done so many videos on this, I almost don't want to break down the history so much for you guys, but I gotta get into at least some of it for you. Uh, so this initially was actually a seating area for the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, which is if you're walking down Main Street USA to the right, um, it's literally right past that. So it's a little nook. It has a Victorian type of aesthetic in the interior, which kind of complements the Main Street aesthetic that it's located in. The food, however, like it looks like almost it should have like filet mignon or like mm. some high class fancy food. The food really is more comfort food. So they have like a fried chicken sandwich I like. Also, they have a seasonal menu that we did a video on. We'll link it below. I loved their seasonal menu. He wanted to get it again. And I was yeah. like, we would just be doing the same video again. Like, we I gotta, gotta get at least one of the things. We gotta get some of the classic plaza food. The I agree. The fries, you know. Yeah, the loaded fries. They actually changed the fries up recently. They used to be shoe string, string fries. Now they're more steak fries. It's really good classic comfort food. We think done well and i honestly think this may be one of the underdog winners for those that haven't watched the original or the first two videos in this series at the end we eat at our last restaurant which i think will be jungle skipper canteen uh we are going to name in order our top five magic kingdom restaurants yeah, and we'll also list out the total price of each mail too so that you can see that yeah um i i think this might take the cake i know i keep saying that every video but I think our, when we first started this, I thought the winner might be Liberty Tree Tavern. However, our choice of Liberty Tree was good, but I think we've had better ones in the past, so I think it could be anyone's game right now. Ask me at the end. Well, we'll see how I feel at the right. end of the video when you ask me and I get, like, super nervous. Are you ready? I'm ready. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our romantic dinner night oh. at the Plaza Restaurant here at Disney's Magic Kingdom Park. All right, so to get to the Plaza Restaurant, you're going to have to head straight down the middle of Main Street USA as you enter Magic Kingdom Park. You will bear right at the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor and you're, it's the first thing on your right hand side. It actually recently went under a refurbishment. It was actually the exterior was under refurbishment last time we were here and they have a brand new big sign out front. I wish they had second floor seating, Sam. It would be nice to down to that second floor there. There's some great views of Magic Kingdom Castle from the windows here. The windows are clear, which last time they were not. And if you're looking for your stroller parking or for your EV parking, that's gonna be right to the left of check-in. All right, so we are in and we have been seated. There are actually two different rooms that you could dine in. There's like kind of this main dining area and then there is a garden view room. You can actually see the castle right off uh, both of the rooms if you have a window seat. Decent fireworks views from the window seats as well. Let's break the menu down. So this is connected to the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor. So they do have those Edie's hand-dipped milkshakes. Edie's Ice Cream. The appetizers are pretty basic. The Plaza Loaded Fries are what they're known for. Last time we were here, I had this loaded baked potato soup. House salad we thought was pretty basic. Their onion rings are really good. For entrees, they are known for this pot roast stack. I've had it before. It's good. They also, I had last time, this is the seasonal stuff, this ghoulishly gourmet burger. It was delicious. It's a smash burger. Not like the best burger in the world, but a good burger. And I think better than you get like Cosmic Rays around here. They also have this seasonal turkey club that Sam got last time. It was pretty decent. 
Then we have the Shrimp Louis salad, a chef salad, an impossible chili burger for those vegans out there, a chicken Waldorf salad, lots of salad here, a chipotle barbecue pork sandwich right here is good, and what I think I'm getting is this crispy chicken sandwich. And these are their specialty cocktails, if you guys wanted to stop. They also have four different beers, pretty basic beers that you can get, although uh, I'm not sure if India Pale Ale, that sounds kind of fancy to me. I'm not a beer -er, so I don't know. And they got wines, red and white, and they have milkshakes from the fountain. The appetizers are here. You gotta go with like fried food here, or like burgers, you know, like it's, like we said, comfort food, classic American fare. So of course we had to get the Plaza loaded fries. They used to come on shoestring fries, now have steak fries. I actually like these better because they absorb the flavor really well. And these, have, these are crispy fries with melted cheddar, bacon, green onion, and spicy sour cream. Uh, what makes or breaks this dish, and it's been very inconsistent for us in the past, is the load. How much load did they put on the fries? Are they loaded? Or is it just a little low, you know? A good thing you can't see my face right now. That's all I'm going to say. It looks, it, it, these look like they, they truly have loaded them out today. What do you think, Sam? Well, it's a nice mm. load. Yeah. Lots of stuff on them. It's like that sharp cheddar cheese sauce. It's a cheese sauce. It's not like true cheddar cheese. Fair to fry. Mmm. A little crispy bacon on top. My opinion, these are so much better with the steak fry. Because it holds so much flavor. And again, Good amount on them this time. Great iteration. I'm gonna go eight today. This is good. Great atmosphere too. We got the green garden room. It's not called the garden room, I just call it that. Uh, just, it's nice. I'm gonna be interested in your thoughts on this, Sam. Look at this one. It's got a nice little sour cream on that. I love the spicy sour cream. I think it just like, it elevates it slightly. It makes it a little bit different. I wish the bacon was like crispier. Yeah, the bacon feels a little bit more like pork belly-esque or the fattier ends. They're definitely just like frozen fries. You know, they're not anything special, but they are. The steak fries are definitely better than the shoestring fries. Like one time we got these and we were like super disappointed, but this is, this is a good iteration. I agree with your eight. Like I would keep them back for this. Yeah, you gotta make sure they're loaded though. We gotta, the, whoever's- Stop with the load top. <laughs> compliments to the chef. All right, and on to the next meal that my gastroenterologist tells me not to eat. Fried onion rings. Uh, they, they have the little zesty sauce. It's a, it's a mild horseradish. It literally says mild horseradish. Oh, I like horseradish sauce, so I didn't know. I thought it was just like a zesty, remember Burger King's zesty onion ring sauce? That was my first relationship with zesty sauce. All right, let's try it out. I love the horseradish. I would love to use that for fries, actually. Great. Horseradish, but the sauce is the star here. Uh, the, the onion rings are a little cold. It might be our fault though, because we did a lot of B-roll pictures. Um, they are pretty crispy. Break apart pretty easy, which is what you want. It's, it's texture, it's standard texture. It's good onion ring. The sauce to me is a star though, because- A lot of hand movement for this one, I'm noticing. I'm talking a lot with my hands. Uh, and your mouth. <laughs> because the sauce, I think, is the star, I'm gonna go seven with these, because I really like the sauce. If it was just for onion rings, I'd probably go like five or six. Got yourself a nice ring there, Sam. Yeah, I, I did find the crispiest one, but also... Vanilla, cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip. It's an onion stick. Oh my gosh, you know when you go to Burger King and you get like onion rings or fries and like there's something mixed in, like you get fries and there's an onion ring mixed in or vice versa, and it was like always the best feeling. Kind of like that, but not really. If you like you, then you should have put a ring on it. I did, I put a ring on it. And I gave her onion rings. Thank you. You're right. Sauce is a star. Horseradish. Are you a horseradish sauce fan? I've never known you to be the horseradish connoisseur. I just learned that I am super crispy. All I want for them is to be crispy, and I don't want my onion to slip out. I don't like a slippery onion. And it's accomplishing that. And I also agree with your seven. Yeah, it's because the onion rings are basic, but the sauce is great, so I think it, that brings it up. All right, so the entrees are here. Sam got the Cobb salad, and I got the crispy chicken sandwich, a lightly breaded chicken breast, dill pickle slaw, a buttermilk ranch on a potato roll. The roll doesn't look like a potato roll, though. It does have, like, I guess, a little yellowish hue. This looks like a chicken cutlet. And look at that slaw. They also put pickles on the side, and it comes with their standard fries. Oh man, this actually looks really good. I was looking forward to having a chicken sandwich. I wanted to get the burger again, 
But I wanted to give you guys a standard experience, not the seasonal experience. We already did a video on that. I will come back for that burger though. Said that in a very threatening manner. It tastes like a freshly fried chicken cutlet. I'm gonna try, I gotta get in the center more. I love the pickle slaw. Wow, this is great. It could be thicker, but it's a, a bit different than like a standard chicken sandwich. It's more like a chicken cutlet sandwich, which I kind of like because it feels like you're in like grandma's house almost when you're in this restaurant. I like this a lot. I'm making an eight. I like not the best chicken, you know, chicken sandwich that I've ever had, but I think it's good and it feels, like I said, like, like grandma just made me a chicken cutlet, made me a pickle slaw and threw it on a sandwich. I'm here for it. So Sam, I think this is what you were thinking about getting, right? I was, but then I was like, oh, I'm gonna, probably gonna get a milkshake and we got all those fried appetizers. I'll get a chef salad. But I'm excited to try yours because it does look, looks up my alley. And also a lot of the entrees come with fries or onion rings. So if you don't want to order the appetizer, you could upgrade your fries to the loaded fries with your entree. It's not like a thick, juicy chicken. Flat, crispy boy. That's how I make my chicken salad, so. It looks like a chicken, it feels like a chicken color to me. I'm glad that they give you that dill slaw to break up the texture because it is super, I like a super crispy chicken cutlet, but this would be too dry without it. Like, I definitely think it, it needs that moisture and texture of that slaw. It's good. I'm come back for this one. I agree with you, what was it, eight? You gave it an eight? Yeah, I gave it an eight. It's not a nine or a 10, but I think it's a solid eight, especially for that pickle slaw and the crispy chicken. Are you agreeing? Yeah. <laughs> Leave me some. All right, so Sam, you got the chef's salad, which is roasted turkey, smoked ham, Swiss cheese, cheddar, hard-boiled eggs, tomatoes and cucumbers over romaine served with your choice of dressing. You got ranch, I think, right, Sam? I did. I'm going to cut this up and, and maybe just drizzle a little ranch on top because I know we like different amounts of things. I will say the ham does look sus. I think you said that before. Right? Yeah, as soon as it came over, I was like, that? That's not what I thought it was gonna look like. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything on this bite. I don't think I'm gonna win the battle of trying to get everything on the floor. Come on. Do that. Oh, I lost the tomato. Oh my god. What are you doing to my entree? I'm trying to eat it. Okay, here we go. I always love the texture of a chef salad. There's a lot of like crunchiness with the romaine lettuce and the cucumbers. But then you have like this soft like egg. And then you have the, the unique texture of like ham, as well as the creaminess of the cheese, the bursts of flavor from the tomatoes. And I think it always goes well with the ranch dressing. Some of the best chef salads I've ever had in my life were on Long Island diners. I do not think that this is a Long Island diner chef salad. So it is a good chef salad, nice sharp uh, cheddar flavor. I don't really trust Disney um, cold cuts that much. So, and I didn't have the turkey. So let me actually try this turkey. Not bad. Not great. I'm gonna give it a six. I think it's a decent middle of the road. Um, should I go five? No, I'm gonna go six because it's it still has a good texture. And I do enjoy it. Uh, but you got you got. I get your take, Sam, because I think you know you're a bit more. I don't want to say critical, but you're a bit more in tune with what's happening on on these dishes. After I had swallowed that turkey a bit more, I got a bit of a smoky flavor out of it. I'm gonna be honest looks like I, it's presented nicely but the meat really looks weird to me like both meats look like i don't want to eat them i like that there's two types of cheeses i like that it looks like a decent two eggs like it's a decent portion but that the meat is weird i think their meat has always looked weird like 7-eleven or like hospital cafeteria like when you get one of those like food packer salads well, it's chunks, it's not slices. That's what's interesting about it. Today. It looks weird. Like, why are there all the... Uh, I'm going to shut up. Let's let's mix this up. Yeah, I mean, once you pour a bunch of ranch on it, you don't even taste the rotting flesh. It's healthy, and like, look how... There's more cheese than lettuce. Yeah, chef salads really are just like pretend healthy salads, I feel like. Do you remember our conversation when we first started dating? Yeah. Do you know what... I asked started? you if you knew what chef salads were, right? We were texting, like, what we were going to eat for dinner, and... Like I was gonna make dinner and Jason asked me if I knew what a chef salad was. And I was so insulted. I was like, why wouldn't I know what a chef salad is? Like, what do you think I am? I knew people who didn't. Apparently Jason dated girls before me who didn't know what chef salads were. 
I am now, pleading the fifth. And now we're married and we're eating chef salad in Disney. Look at that. That's full circle. On camera, too. <laughs> I know. I feel like that was a story I shouldn't have said out loud, but it's... Well, you can say it out loud. Why not? It's too late. I didn't get any meat because I'm scared. I like the cheese. Produce tastes fresh. God, I gotta just do it. Just eat a, eat a meat. It tasted smoky. Like, it wasn't like... I don't think it yeah, tasted yeah. bad, but it didn't taste particularly like an amazing like boar's head cold cut or something, you know? Yeah, I don't know. The ham is sweet. This is be a smoked ham. It's sweet. <laughs> Would not get this again. I don't think it's the worst. I'm going to eat all around the meat, to be honest. And I'm going to give it a five. I, I thought you were gonna go five. That's how I, fe I felt that one as I was eating it. This is a Sam five. My food. Like if you're like, if you're like scared of something on your plate, like probably not the best. All right, it is time for dessert. Specialty milkshakes, cakes, and sundaes. This is the seasonal milkshake. It's the graveyard milkshake. It's basically a chocolate shake with a dipped graveyard jelly donut, white chocolate tombstone, gummy candy. I had this last time. I mean, chocolate shakes with these ice cream are always great. And of course, I am my favorite type of donut is a jelly donut. So I, I'm inclined to get this again. Then for the kickier side, they actually have a brownie. So it's a chocolate pecan brownie, a key lime pie, and a strawberry shortcake. This cake is what they're known for. We've had this in a previous video, the chocolate layer cake. And then we actually added the seasonal offerings. We like this more than the um, the great or the layered pumpkin cake. We like that more than the graveyard shake. We also have the classic Plaza Restaurant Sunday, a banana split, which is a classic. Dark chocolate banana bread pudding with soy milk frozen dessert. That sounds good. And a multitude of ice cream and sorbets from your boys and your girls at Edie's. Just realized I made a mistake. These are actually all milkshakes. This is a strawberry shortcake milkshake, key lime pie milkshake, and a chocolate pecan brownie milkshake. Oh, this one? Sounds good. All right, so they're known for milkshakes. We love Edie's ice cream. We could get some of the cakes here, but I felt like we had to get milkshakes. And I couldn't help myself. I had to get the seasonal offering. I needed to get at least one of the seasonal offerings. I got the graveyard milkshake, chocolate milkshake with a dipped graveyard jelly donut, white chocolate tombstone, gummy candy, and a haunted mansion straw. They were out of the haunted mansion straw. So I got a Terrible. Uh, but I, jelly donuts are my favorite form of donut. I remember enjoying this jelly donut last time. Look how festive it is on top. Uh, one little tidbit or suggestion I would provide to you if you order this. Ask for a side plate because obviously you're not going to be eating... Um, I mean, maybe you could dip the jelly donut. I don't know. But it just seems like it's not practical. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pick it up. I'm going to eat from the, the hole in the back. Actually, no, I'm not. No jelly. I told you not to get that again. I said you should get something different. It's, the end of, it's nearing the end of the season. I don't like white chocolate. Last time this was much better. I mean, I'm going to try from the back. There it is. You didn't inject the jelly far enough in. You gotta have a good, good like loaded amount of jelly. Last time this was filled with jelly. It's not this time. All right, I actually have to try the actual ice cream. Oh, this is what I liked last time. There's like little chewy things at the bottom. It's so creamy and dark. For the for the poor jelly donut, I will give this a seven. I don't think it's quite as good as last time, but I'm enjoying it. I, Sim, yours looks really good, but I want to get your take on this one too. It just says chocolate shake, but there are some like chocolate rocks or something in it. Like a surprise, like, like M&M's or something. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Cause it's like Halloween candy. It's like crushed in the bottom. Yeah, it's like a little surprise. I'm not in the mood for mediocre jelly donut. Oh, you're not gonna eat the jelly donut? Look at how much jelly I left you. I have like this whole thing. Oh, you're going for it. Ooh. It's a jelly donut, man. You can't go wrong with jelly donut, you know? That's a good donut, I'm surprised. I agree with your seven. That's a good milkshake. It's cool it has the candy in it. You know, it makes it different. I, I don't need the donut, but I understand why it's there. All right, since I've been starting, I'm gonna start with Sam's shake. This is the strawberry shortcake milkshake. Uh, what's exactly in this, Sam? So this is strawberry ice cream, vanilla cake, strawberries. It looks like there's like nerds on top. Is it nerds or is it just sprinkles? 100%. I don't know what nerds has to do with strawberry shortcake, but I guess it looks cute. There's always like secret items in these milkshakes that they don't put on the menu. It's interesting. And uh, there's also like a bunch of strawberries at the bottom. 
It's like if they made a strawberry shortcake and milkshake, believe it or not. I actually, I believe it. I believe it. Lots of vanilla cake. I like this a lot. It's so different. Uh, the thing is, I'm not getting much ice cream. I'm just tasting like it's blended cake. Man, they load this thing up. This is great, Sam. You got, you picked a good one. I'm gonna go eight with that. It's like a blended strawberry uh, milkshake. Like, it has such a unique texture. Great. All right, your turn. That's good. Right, it literally tastes like a blended strawberry milkshake. There's a lot of cake in here. Pieces of cake, pieces of strawberry, nice and creamy. This is well done. I like this a lot. I'm going to give it an eight. Oh my gosh, we like agree on almost everything. Yeah, I think only the chef salad, yeah. All right, so Sam, is the Plaza Restaurant the best restaurant in all of Magic Kingdom Park? Yeah, um, I wasn't even nervous to say it. Yeah, <laughs> um, I do think it'll be maybe be in the top three. I think the food is just too basic. I, I also want to say we had an amazing waitress. We did have really good service, yeah. but I do find it like a, to be very charming. Yes, and it's just like comfort food, and it's casual, and like sometimes you just. Mm -hmm. Just want casual. You don't want to sit in a fancy yeah. place with a beast roaming around. Yeah, it's, it, sometimes you want that basicness. It, I think also the price point wasn't too bad. I think it was about eighty-one dollars for both of us before tip, uh, and then we got two entrees, two appetizers, two desserts. I mean, for Walt Disney World, that is still price, but for Walt Disney World, I think that's pretty solid. Um, it's a middle of the road restaurant, and like you said, sometimes you don't want fancy. Sometimes you want to eat in grandma's house and have some basic eats. Everything was solid. The only thing that was disappointing, I say, was the chef's out. Because the meat on there is strange. I think we learned an important lesson today, Sam. Don't get meat in Magic Kingdom? <laughs> um, I would say don't trust Walt Disney World cold cuts. Oh, okay. Ever. Just don't buy Walt Disney I World cold cuts. I should get the cuts. pot roast staff. The pot yes. roast staff is good. I should... I tried to be healthy, and look what happened. <laughs> you never, just don't try. If you're on, well, there are certain places. I would say um, Columbia Harbor House is a decent salmon that you can get if you really are trying to be healthy here. Uh, it is hard, though, obviously, especially if you're on vacation, you're going to eat a few more calories. Uh, what was your favorite, favorite thing that you ate? I really liked my milkshake. Yeah. But it had, like, a ton of texture. Like, every single sip was, like, a strawberry was coming up, <laughs> cake was coming up. Yeah. Like, was, they really filled it with those toppings. I'd also say my milkshake was my favorite thing that I had. I just really like chocolate milkshakes. Like there's candy inside of it. I feel like every time you ask me what my favorite thing was that we ate, I always say it's the dessert. Like, <laughs> like, like does she ever eat real Sammy food? Sweets. Does she just like real food? Or? <laughs> you like real food. I do. My favorite savory was my uh, chicken sandwich. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Uh, it was great. I am interested where this will rank on our top five. Two more to go. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video subscribing. It also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notifications. That way you're notified every time when videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Count the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. I asked in a previous video way back if any of you'd be interested in seeing them in the meals we make during the week that are like super boring. <laughs> so I figured this is one. So we usually eat fun on camera, but when we're home we eat pretty boring. So right now I am making barbecued chicken breast. Looks like they're about to, about ready to be flipped. And uh, this is one of the J meals I make for the week. And when I make this minute yellow rice that we put over it. So if you guys are interested, that's what we generally eat during the week, chicken and rice. <laughs> I just want to give a special thank you to each and every single one of our members. Thank you to them and their generosity for helping fund this channel. If you have any interest in a membership, we do have tiers as low as $1.99 a month with differing perks, including early access to videos. We could probably flip those now, Sam. I want to give a special thank you to each and every single one of you. Let me, let me, okay, I think you got it. Yeah, you got it. Who like, comment, I got the good, good grill marks on there. But yes, thank you to all who like, comment, subscribe, engage with this video in any way. We really appreciate all of you helping us out, continuing to fund this channel and keep it growing. And as always... Keep it going for Frank, who Frank? would definitely be out here right now while we were doing this. Yeah, he, he always loves... the barbecue. Yeah, he loves sitting by the barbecue and we grilled. I'm getting stuck. Yeah, I'll get him. That's why my hand is hot. Oh, you got it. <laughs>